came uh, on your screen as the ball was going past the glove. Now, Darren Goff, right-hand batsman from Yorkshire. Test match debut for him. Well, if I was Dion Nash bowling to Darren Goff playing in his first test match, I'd just let him know what test cricket's all about. Give him one right round the ear of. Absolutely right. Just you fast bowlers are a tough lot. That's a fine shot from Darren Goff. On the up, smites it through the covers. Vintage cover drive, wasn't it? I'm sure some of the tough order batsmen would have been pleased with that one. Really was a great shot. Right off the knee to the bat, perfectly placed. Oh, good shot. That oh, really has been hit very firmly. A short arm jab. A very powerful fall by Darren Goff. Unveiling all the shots now. Well, that's edged over the top of slips. Very high indeed, and there are no problems at all. Very, very safe. It's the great thing if you really fling the bat at the ball, the edge is going to go a long, long way. Yes, but this is not good bowling either by Chris Pringle. He's just giving the batsman far too much width, and he's just dropping it too short to come back and really fly the bat at it. And he's got a lot of wood on it. And even if he does miss cue it, it's still going to go hard and high anywhere. Got that off the middle of the bat. Got it well enough though. And in the air, and uh, that's a nice reply because the very first ball Darren Goff received from Dion Nash was a bouncer, got him in the shoulder, and he's played that pretty well. The confidence has grown so much with Philip De Freitas and Darren Goff in his first test match that they're really toying with the New Zealand bowlers. The pinching singles, the confidence is up. No better example of it than that. We had two things happen at the start of this over. We had a little conference between De Freitas and Goff, and the result is uh, this extra urgency. There's been some urgency there in their batting, and they've done well. That a very, very good shot. A certain amount of disrespect in that. Well, he's loving it, Darren Goff. He's toying with the bowlers. And that's going to be four, away over the slips there. You're going to flash. Flash hard. Yep, they're just toying with the New Zealanders. shot from Darren Goff. Totally uncompromising. And Darren Goff might believe that this game is somewhat easy out there at the moment. He's made it look pretty easy. Full flourish, look at that. Good follow through. And that's just gone like a rocket. And when you hit the big fast bowler straight back past him for four, and particularly when you're a fast bowler yourself, it's the ultimate insult, I can assure you. But the word is beautifully played. Look at that full flourish of follow through. I think a golfer would have been happy with that swing. Well, that's 50 for Darren Goff. Well played indeed. Whips the helmet off. Applauded by his own teammates up in the balcony there in the pavilion. What a fine effort. Been a better round of applause all game. Well, everyone's happy about that. Except the New Zealanders, of course. Bob still smiles. I'm enjoying the entertainment, David. And despite all that, it's another lovely shot. Perfectly placed. Square on the offside. 
there seems to be nothing Ken Rutherford can do to stop it. Can't to the field for that. in the air, caught and extraordinary conclusion to a very fine innings by Darren Goff, he's 65 and he's out he's starting to give the very tired seamer the charge there I fancy he's just walking towards him he was going to go down the pitch and try and whack it but it wasn't there to hit Chris Pringle was an old hand and he's a very good bowler in tight situations and defending, bowling a slower ball didn't get to the pitch and finished up just pushing at it and lobbing it up in the air. A standing ovation. And he looks as if he's just been for a stroll in the park. So the ninth wicket is down for 370.